tell me, Monsieur Sell, what is your impression of New France? Who the hell would make a show set in 1600s, you know, along the St. Lawrence Seaway? Crazy people would. The world in the middle, late 1600s was pretty dangerous for everybody involved that was there. If you put your mind to it, you can remake yourself here. People were carving out a place for themselves out of the wilderness and making the best of what they could when not everybody necessarily had the tools to fight against nature in the same way. In New France, it was about taking control of the commodities, which was the beaver pelts, and then converting souls. They cared about extracting the resources from the land, and they cared about maintaining a relationship with the indigenous people here. I was always a friend to you. It has been the way of things, and you help us retrieve our men. The nations that are represented in Barkskins are the Wendat, the, uh, the Mohawks, particularly as a part of the Iroquois Confederacy. And we have one character who's Anishinaabe. We wanted to show that the First Nations people, when it came to sort of the way they interacted, were not primitive. Because I think that's a massive mistake that everyone makes. The English, the French, none of you can be trusted. It was an ideological war. It was like the French were trying to recreate French society here, and the English were like, you sit on valuable land and trading routes that we can make more money if we control these. So from that springs, I think, a deep distrust. The English and French will go back to the way things have always been. Throat slitting, lies, and land grabs. The benefit of having a well-researched historical backdrop is that you can tell stories that take place within the time frame and make them as exciting as you want to. <laughs> 